good to see you for come back. Matt's right here, he's just begun to show him how it should be done. An engine driver's life is fun, and we can do it too. Trains in life, Matt's gonna drive on down the track. Trains in life, good to see you in the chat. Matt will always do his best as he puts locos to the test. He drives for hours without a rest, and you can do it too. <clears throat> Sorry, folks. Uh, I'm just restarting the game. I'll be here with you in a minute. Right, there's the game. Right, um, let me put it on that screen so that it's doing something. Right, uh, good evening, everybody. Um, what are we doing first? Original Zogunak Harimagen. Oh, seriously? What do you mean? You could... Don't crash now. You've just finished booting. Right, come on. No, the track IR wasn't working, so I had to restart the game while it was doing the music. Unfortunately, it didn't start again quite fast enough. Never mind. It's nearly there. It's nearly there! I say it's nearly there. It's nearly there! Um, that's a hint for you, computer. Thank you. <sighs> Matt's here. Hello. <laughs> Leave me alone, Katie. Leave me alone. How is everybody anyway? Everyone good? <sighs> so yeah, regional Superna Kremagen on Colon uh, Blentz, BR146. Then we're on the Medway Valley line with a class one for uh, four one six. That's going to get a little bit confusing. Uh, stop at the coal mine, coal mines with Ellen Teasdale, and then uh, B and O Viking Coal, um, B and O Kingwood Branch. So, <clears throat> oh yes, brightness needs to be turned down again, doesn't it? We were turned up earlier on, wasn't it? Because uh, last night's game was a wee bit on the dark side. It was very Jedi. Well, not Jedi, the other one. I'm doing good, thank you, 5029. PCB's on. Seifer is on. Head not turn. That's it. A bit better. You're on the list, Moggy. You're on the. Oh, you know you're on the list. The list is very long. Everyone has a. Uh, actually, no. Everyone has a very short list. I'm on everybody else's list, and everybody else is on my list. Are you trying to curry favour with me, Katie? Hey there, Mike Jenkins. How's it going? We should probably put some lights on as well, shouldn't we, while we're here? Well, they'll do. Right. Uh, no, I haven't, Viva, you know. <clears throat> to answer your question. Apologise. Leave your C for alone. Right. Uh, new Branford Steam Railroad. Ooh, that sounds good, Laura Frau. I found the Branford was lovely. Now, it feels like the audio could do with coming up a bit. There we go. It's 
still limited in speed just at the minute. Got speed reduction coming up. We have speed reduction followed by an expect stop. I'm guessing we're following something. <laughs> Any speed restriction on there? No, it's just 40 still. Shut up, Sifa. One day I'll reboot this machine and solve the stuttering. Speed reduction followed by expects bad. That is what the double yellow lines, the double yellow lights means, Moggy. Expects bad. Coblenz HBF is coming up. Hey Stretch Shadow! I think a net worth of 40 kilometers now would be pretty sad, Robert. But not impossible. Just, you know, not. I don't want to set high expectations here. If I spared, I'd be shot. What do you mean, Tosh Class? I'm not the, I'm not the one with nine lives. That's Moggy. This thing's got fierce brakes. Hey, Exeeg, snowy southwest Michigan, awesome. So after, uh, after trains today, it'll be uh, Wreckfest. Wreckfest got a big update. I've now got a load of pink cars. And, uh, well, what can I say? Should be entertaining, it usually is. Is that a 114 or 112? No, it's a 146 again, or a 146.5, or a, or a 185.2, or a 189, or a... Any one of the many trains that all look the same. Right, advance warning of 50. Expect reduced uh, reduced speed now, but we're okay after that. Good. Dash dig from even snowier Canada. Yeah, I imagine Canada's got most countries beat when it comes to snow. Not any kind of restriction. Got a warning of a 90, which is fine. Push it up to 50, although we are stopping at Stadmitter.
Pepper had emergency supplier on this morning because he has snow banks taller than he is. Oh my word! <laughs> I hope he's all right. Yeah, so you want to see fear snow. We had fear snow here the other day. I've got a picture I took. After I finished streaming, I came out and I'm like, wow. This is going to just, seriously, it's going to bring the country to a standstill. Look, Siri. Seriously, the National Guard had to be called out. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Right, we have no restrictions limits, so we can put it to the full 120. I know, Moggy! Horrific! I mean, look at my new car! I can't even see it! We got our greens, we're good to go, uh, except we're stopping at a couple of minutes, so let's not be going too much. Hey Chris, how's it going sir? Do I need counselling to cope with this emotional experience? I know! Nobody knows, you know, the trouble we have to go through. The serious emotional strains and struggles. I finished streaming, I come out and see that. I, I need to, you know, get counselling. You don't think you're meant to be able to see voxels? Ah, uh, that could be it, yeah. That could be it. It is sort of stealthy. Jill, how's it going? Are you here to keep an eye on Chris? His level of puns has been getting, well, worrying, to be honest. I've been wondering where you are to keep him, keep him in check. Uh, Mitz, 7.78 kilometers. Right, that's probably the one I'm going to nip with. We have no limits and restrictions. We are at 90 kilometers an hour limit. Yeah, okay, fair enough, Katie. <laughs> <clears throat> Greeny green. It's mostly jealousy, if I'm honest, Katie. It's mostly jealousy. Playing Final Fantasy Twelve on your PlayStation Two. Excellent. Got 160 kilometers now speed limit. That's it. I've got no hope of speed of slowing down now. Hey there, Turbo Props. Uh, 
still following greens. Oh, hello. Pull the power off. What music do I like? Um, Robot Murloc. Um, so Jean Michel Jarre, Tapau, Roxette, Evanescence. Classical as long as no one's trying to howl and wail in it. Don't like opera. You've stolen his computer to play ETS2, so he's stuck on a PlayStation. Nice. We've got an expect speed reduction. I didn't recall anything telling me what it was, so I'm going to assume it's 40. Heavy metal, no. Not my scene at all. Doesn't appear to be a ZS3 on that. Hey there, Big Bean Kid, how are you doing? I do believe that's a 60. In which case, we can rock through here at 60. Just don't forget to acknowledge the next warning. Shush, Sifa. Coming up on emits now. I wonder if I guess we're going to get pulled off to the side at emits or something, or cross over. Otherwise, it wouldn't. Don't see why it would slow us down. Fenny again, you're starting Rick Fest for later. Good man. The more players, the better for Rick Fest. Striker Galaxy, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. <coughs> Wait for the doors to close. Hey, Nico278. I took this picture of my cats earlier on, or one of my cats, last night. A dozy, dozy cat. Look at this. Right. I, had to, I have to have show cats every now and again because, you know, my stream is on the internet, cats are on the internet, therefore my cats are on, uh, are on my stream. Seems like impeccable logic to me. Oh, hello. Restrictive monitoring. The cat's planning to take over the world, yeah, really. This is the other one. Literally, this is Tiggy, right down below him, sitting there, just pondering the ponder, pondering the future of my existence, probably. Right, that's the 40 limit. No, nope, carrying on 60, fair enough. 
Alright, and we're out of all of the monitorings and restrictions, so let's push up to 60. The first one was Lady. Yeah, definitely. Luke, you have a cake with pink icing on top. Are you proud of me? Absolutely, Luke. BK Gaming, thank you for the uh, the host. Much appreciated. Welcome to BK Gaming's viewers. All right, we've got nothing stopping us. 3.7 kilometers to Weissenthurm. 3.6 kilometers, 160 kilometers an hour. Let's give it some beans. There is a cat simulator, Katie. <laughs> yeah, your job, I think the job in the simulator is to basically knock everything on the floor. <laughs> I may have dreamed it, but I thought that was... I'm sure there is one. VR game. Yeah, something like that. Hundred and twenty coming up. Four pounds on Steam, Silver Fennekin. There you go. Maybe I'll need to go and pick it up at some point. Baby and kid, um, it's it's more actually that this is a route that, that Scenario Authors like more than anything else. I like driving it, but it's a route that Scenario Authors like. Constance Verlingen is probably my favourite route at the moment. And why that got louder all of a sudden? Munich Garmisch is very German. Yeah, I like that one as well. And the Nach. No limits, no restrictions, 160 kmh. Yeah, being colourblind is going to make the German signals a bit more tricky. The difference between a green yellow and a yellow yellow is subtle but important. KT, Bridge Commander, will be next week. Currently we've got a roster of four, but if you're going to be about, then we can uh, maybe do um, swap swap crew about a bit. Dispose of Moggy or something. Put him in a red shirt and just wait for the inevitable. <laughs> Uh, 
but yes, next Friday uh, multiplayer game um, is going to be Star Trek. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, Rob Boggy will be involved in a transporter accident. He'll accidentally flip over into the Shadow Universe. What will probably happen is he'll bring an entire Shadow Universe ship back to the uh, to the uh, the Prime Universe and um, take us all out. But that, that's that, you know we'll deal with that when we get to it. GPU Robert uh, Robert Murloc is a 980 Ti. The, the glitching in this coming on is, is um, because I need to reboot the machine. There's like that frame stutter there. Um, because the um, if I don't reboot it regularly, it just seems to get itself in a, in a mess. It's the time taken to load data off of the disk. I don't know whether it's something peculiar with the SSDs. Problem is I rarely reboot my machine, so... <laughs> Moggy is a transporter accident. Well, you know, I didn't want to say it. Am I a Max Graphics? The so scenery quality, which is effectively the texture resolution, is turned down one or two notches for memory reasons, not anything else. Everything else is maxed out. To be honest, my SSD only has sync problems, Chris, when I put it in water. The USS Interpretive Dance. <laughs> hey, good evening, year 64. Right, we've got no warnings or anything. Push up to 1.30. Just got a 110 given the speed limits coming up just now. Sifa. I didn't even see that to be honest, Agseek. What were they going on about? I think I've really looked at Facebook too much recently. Well, that's pretty much the RSUG modus operandi, isn't it, Eggseek? Bunch of armchair know-it-alls. A couple of people trying to uh, put some common sense into the discussion. Robot, you get 20 to 40 on a 1060, but on Fortnite, you get more. Or is it? Are you talking about TS One or TS World? It's not even so much about optimization. It's just the doing different things. A first-person shooter's not managing the physics. This train's managing all the physics up and down the train. This train is. This game is. And all the other trains and how all the wagons are interacting with each other. It's quite complex. There's a lot going on in the train sim. So on the post about Stagecoach CCMR deal, someone's whining about the AP Virgin deal and how unfair it was. The AP Virgin deal? You mean how about um, AP was asked to uh, C and D? <clears throat> Detective Striker, thank you for the follow. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, it's really easy to make a first-person shooter look um, run really fast robot. Partly because it's what game engines are actually designed to do. Even you know, Unreal, it's it's their bread and butter. Whereas I can tell you, Christopher, now <laughs> Unreal did not want to make a did not want to make a train sim easily. X Series Gamer, eighth month. Thank you very much for the resub. Much appreciated. That's the one, chips and dip, Moggy. You got it. Uh, Nico, so there's multiple sets of physics all running independently of the game thread. It's 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 so. Um, just take Train Sim World because I must admit I don't know the interiors of TS1 so well. Train Sim World, you've got um, each individual wagon. Um, so you've got so you've got the physics for the train on the track, the physics for the wagons interacting interacting with each other and in, and the suspension. And you've also got the physics for Simigraph, the um, the engine and brake simulation stuff. Um, physics and Bullet run in their own threads, I think. Um, and then you've got Simigraph, and what that does is it has to run in the game thread to a extent, but what it does is it spins off other workers. So the way Unreal works is a series of workers. So you, you create tasks and spin them off and then the worker threads consume those tasks and get them done. So you can have multiple done concurrently. And essentially what happens is that the main game thread says, here's a load of work, tell me when you're done. And it just sits there waiting for all the other threads to finish and then it can carry on again. So that, that's kind of where the multi-threading is. I mean, ideally Simigraph comes straight, comes completely out of the uh, game thread, but that's a bigger job. <laughs> Brawl! Running about four minutes behind. What's the max thread supported runner? I don't know. I know Unreal has a limit. Uh, and I don't know what that is. They did tell uh, the engineers did tell me. Alright, what we're we looking at here, I've got no ZS3, so forty KMH. Not sixty. It lies. Sifa. Do I prefer career or standard? It depends. If it's um, like a passenger scenario with timings, then I prefer career. Because I don't mind being told I've got a minus 1,000 score, but I really dislike if I've stopped at every station, but when one minute late at each one, being told I've completely failed the scenario. That feels wrong. So I prefer, um, for passenger type things, I prefer career. And, you know, given the choice of the two, I generally prefer career. But I don't mind like, freight scenarios, I don't mind standard at all. Because um, it doesn't really matter. Depends how people set the point system up. Career scenarios work great, but if it's the point system isn't set up right, then it can be horrible. Got the red light still. Oh, that stuff will probably come at some point, who lightwing. More important things to get on with, to be honest. But 
mistake being kid, the way the autism spectrum works is everybody is on it somewhere. It's just how it works. Indeed, Koo, indeed. There goes one. So we're 500 hertz restricted monitoring, so we're 25 kilometers an hour limit as we depart. And I guess we're going to be following this one out. I'm good, thank you, 4072. How are you? Being kid, there should be more than enough slots for people to join in with Wreckfest. Loving the AI on this scenario. No, it's just a single decker, um, loco hauled coup. Probably a um, regional barn. I think I'm going to read RE. Is this an RE or RB? I don't know. doesn't actually say what. So. Oh, the, oh, it says RE on the front. So I guess I'm an RE service. Right, as we set off, we have an expect stop indication. 25 kilometers an hour imposed by cab signaling. Yeah, 4072, but it's a different, it's a BR Blue type thing, so I thought it'd be interesting. Double Dickers in TSW, that'd be cool, wouldn't it? Imagine that in, four, in first person. Have you ever been on, on these coaches, for real? They're really cramped. I was on them once when I went to um, a training course in Yena. Two jobs ago. Walking around them, bang your head on the ceiling. It's saying a thousand hertz, so let's see whether I can push it to forty. Okay, All right, off we go. Still got a thousand hertz light on, and we're on an expect stop indication. So, oh, it's changed. That's good. So, once a thousand hertz goes off, I can release and we can speed up. Restricted monitoring is come back on again. Quite sure what's going on with that, why that went from the aspect it was to that aspect. I can't release it until the uh, restrictive period ends. The Eurostar Fennekin, yeah. Oh, hello, we've come out of all the monitoring. 
done it. Is that 4DD, Moggy? Proper double-decker, doing it the southern way. Cramped, uncomfortable. Stiff upper lip and all that. Network routes will come at some point. Um, cool. thing is to do a network route that has any kind of sensible journey in it you end up building quite a long route because you could do 20 miles in that direction 20 miles in that oh, you've done three or four 20 miles you're up to an 80 90 mile route and that's a significantly bigger route to build the network route at the moment you get five miles in each direction <laughs> How is Baron C, Silver? I'm curious about that one. See? Maybe I'll take a look at that one then for a Has a Taiwanese 700 T ever come up in mind? Let me have a quick look and find out what one of those is. Oh, the high speed one. Um, no. Language licensing. There's that. That one's a, a tough nut to crack. culture as well. It's just very different. Good night, Katie. Hey, DJSP. I am very good, thank you. How are you doing, sir? Sinzikrine. Got no kind of monitoring, so we could speed up. Oh, got that one a bit late. That's what I mean. That means the entire scenario has failed, even though I did probably arrive there about a minute late. Oh, it's four minutes late. But even so, even so. There's a game Robot Merlot for the PlayStation 3 uh, called Railfan, Taiwan High Speed. I should stream it at some point. I keep threatening to stream it. Now I've got a setup that I can plug consoles into and stream them. I've got my PS4 here. I could put my PS3 up on my desk as well and uh, we could do some uh, Railfan. I've got both of them, um, the sort of commutary one and the other one. And unfortunately, the way you have to play the way I have to play the game because I don't speak Chinese or Thai, Japanese or Taiwanese, whichever language it's in, uh, I have to use uh, Google Translate, hold it up to the screen, let it translate it for me, and tell me what to do. Um, I've tried guessing; it doesn't work. I had to import it, Robot Murloc. <laughs> very expensive <laughs> as you can imagine it's a bit on the niche side and I think it was only released in Asia
Alright, pulling into Sinsicrine. We need to see paces and train some world, you betcha. You betcha we do. Unfortunately, I think the people, the list of people that want to see paces in TS World, I probably count on this, 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 this many fingers. So it's uh, it's an uphill struggle, but it's, and the struggle is real. Totally DJSP. Looking forward to running it again. This time it's BR Blue era with the four one six, so it should be interesting. Again. My son showed me a picture of the new um, 345s um, that are going uh, on the London Overground. And he was uh, quite upset about the orange front to them. I mean, anything wrong with it, as far as I can see, is it wasn't pink. But otherwise than that, I think they looked all right. You hate paces, and even you want paces in tears. Well. <laughs> nice, <laughs> Okay, got no kind of restrictions going on. Push up to 160. Ramagan is next, 3.7 kilometers. Speed reduced now. See if we can watch out for a ZS three V this time. <laughs> Forty K H at the next signal. Is it round eighty five? A4 or a 9F, Fennekin or a Jinty. Really. Hey, Hunter Greed, how are you doing? Next signal's 40 kilometers an hour. He's down there. I should probably be using the e-brake more, but never mind. I don't care who makes it, uh, Ed. Get on with it. Caution how you respond. There's a month, month in it. <laughs> yeah, once the scenario tools and um, a way of distributing scenarios, things like that, are, it'll it'll open up. I think. Shut up. Any plans to update electrification on... Oh, well, what? Any plans to update generally when the electrification is completed? Um, I, I can't talk about future plans, I'm afraid. Yeah, you're doing all right, Ed. You're doing all right. Are you any closer to finishing that one that Moggy wants? Soft Uncle, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Back up to 40 again. Uh, I've managed to pull it in. We're only about a minute and a half behind now.
What did I miss? Did I miss a, a, a speed change thing? Oh, was I, or was I going too fast over the 500? Could have been going too fast. Oh, 65 kilometers an hour over the 500. Well, gone that fast. Have to watch. Someone watch that back and tell me what I did wrong. I'm curious. 25 uh, kilometers now. Or did I miss Sifa? I could have missed Sifa. Why can't you drive with PZB on TSW, Coop? Figure it out. Come on, get on with it. No excuses. It is indeed, Pishlick. Yes, sorry, I just saw your other comment. GP30 on Kingwood, yeah. <clears throat> oh, scenario has finished. I'm waiting for a message in the middle of the screen and it's popped up. At the top right. Right. What's next? Oh, we're over Medway Valley now. Let me just have a quick memory check. Oh, oodles. Oodles, caboodles. Right, extra service. This one's a career. Actually, that's not far off, Peachlick. The guidance I was given by somebody was, if you know what, acknowledge everything. There is nothing wrong with acknowledging the game. PZ 